I have a very important prescription I want to give to you. Are you ready? Do not do life alone, please. If you're going to do life alone, you're going to endanger your existence, your spiritual health, your emotional health, your physical health. Do you know that the greatest predictor of a long and happy life, it's not diet, it's not exercise. No, you'd be surprised. It's happy relationships. Are you in a happy relationship right now with a bunch of people? I don't care if you're single. I don't care if you're married. Believe me, I have met married people who are the loneliest people in the world. It doesn't matter if you're married or single. You need to be connected. Say that again. You need to be connected with people if you want your life to be happy and whole and productive. Be productive for the kingdom of God. God has a mission for your life. And I'm just going to say this again. You need a bunch of people, a family, a, a, a community, comrades, confidants in your life. Do you have them? Search for them. Locate them. Work with them. Be connected with them. Let me share this with you. I was studying um, a social scientist. Her name is Paula Bello. And, and she, she did some study. The reason why I like this study is because it doesn't come from a religious perspective, but from a secular standpoint. She says this, that single people, they're very important to a city and a town. If you're single right now, you better listen. She says, you know, cities and towns, the life of a city and town are single people. They're the ones who volunteer in social services. They're the ones who, who, who join civic organizations. They're the ones who attend classes and courses. They're the ones who go out and eat out and fuel the economy of a city in a town. You know, sometimes she says single uh, married people, they get insular, you know, only about themselves and all, sometimes. But here's my point from a religious perspective. I'm telling you, single people who are not living alone, who, I'm sorry, who are not doing life alone, but are connected with other people, they're the life of our ministry, of our feasts. There are 500 plus feasts around the world. Go to visit any of them. You'll find married people serving, married people loving God, married people, yes, yes, but single people who are so connected to friends and they are the life of our feasts. I'll give you one example, Bahamas. I visited them, small island, eight feasts there in that small island. Started by, led by a single woman, Judith. And she will tell you, Judith will say, God made me single for a purpose. But is she doing life alone? Of course not. She's got this bunch of friends, married people and single people who love her and she loves and they do life together. That's my point. Do you have that small community? Whether you're single or you're married, do you have this small bunch of friends? You need that for your life, for your sanity, for your health. Do you have them? Invest in those relationships. Give time into those relationships. Hi, my name is Bo Sanchez. Welcome to Full Tank, your place of inspiration. I pray that you're not doing life alone, please. You need that. Invest life. Join a ministry. Join the feast. Join a spiritual community. Listen to me. Luke chapter 10. This is the gospel. Jesus sends 72 disciples to preach and to heal and to... But he sends them to by two. Don't do life alone. See to it that you've got two people or three people around you to do life together. Can I pray for you? In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for every friend watching this video. I pray, Father, that you, 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 you give that person a network, a community, a bunch of people who will serve with this person and, and do life together. Lord, give this person um, real friends. Make this person a real friend to others. Thank you, Lord, for, for joy, peace, and love. Lord, I pray for more blessings for my friends. I pray for more healing and miracles in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, I pray that you, as you walk and serve the Lord and give your life to Him, you will find those real friends in your life personally thank you for being part of Full Tank, for watching the videos and for sharing the videos to your friends. But I'd like to also say thank you to those who made a decision not only to watch, 
full tank, but actually support full tank and all our other mission work. They became supporters. If you are not yet a supporter, can I invite you? If you say yes, I want to say thank you by number one, giving you exclusive content that's only for supporters. Once in a while, I would go live and then we, we start chatting and talking about life together. And then of course, Full Tank Saturday and Full Tank Sunday exclusively for supporters. To become a supporter of Full Tank, all you have to do is click the link below the video in Facebook. There's a the button that says subscribe. If you're watching through YouTube, then use a computer, there's a button that says join, click on that, you become a supporter of Full Tank and our other mission work. And I'd like to say thank you, thank you so much for making that happen and receive our exclusive content. God bless you, thank you so much, see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us. I have a favor to ask, if you have not yet done so, subscribe to this podcast because that's how these things work, you know, the algorithm, etc. Somewhere, somehow it gets up into the ranking and then people will get to know more about it and people will listen and then people will be blessed and then the blessings will ripple and more and more people will experience God's love. Thank you again for all your support and I will see you next time.